All right, I'm not going to take up too much of y'all time. We're going to try to keep this as quick as possible. But I'm going to wait a second for some people to get in. A couple things I want to talk about before I get started. Yep, okay, the audio is good. That is great. Good to know. Audio is straight. Audio is straight. So I'm going to give it a few more minutes. Give it a good two or three minutes and get started. I am VF Baller and... I haven't been giving this channel enough love, and I know I haven't, but I will uh, explain why shortly. I will explain why shortly. What's going on, Quayface? Good to see you, man. Good to see you. Um, I've been starting. I, I wanted to start to do these type of uh, streams on Mondays, or I'll probably pick another day, depending on how I do things. There's a lot going. To, that's a lot. There's a lot going on with this. With what I'm trying to do, and if I can get it done, great. If not. It's just going to be a different plan. Let me turn that down just a little bit. Okay, that's great. Just want to make sure I can be seen. Uh, all right. I'm going to talk about Matthew Stafford and his trade. I don't have much to talk about when it comes to that, but uh, I think the Rams probably got the better end of the deal. If uh, not, I'll explain about that in a few. Also, uh, my new CRT setup, I'm thinking about setting up another old school fat TV, one of those old ones that you had from back in the day. I'm thinking about setting that up. I'm going to talk about that. Also, I'm going to talk about um, the Twitch community, why I'm enjoying Twitch and why I'm in enjoying everything along with it. Uh, if you guys don't mind, if it's your first time here, it probably isn't. Everybody who usually come here is, uh, is usually come here, um, has been here before. Um, but if this is your first time seeing this, if you want to subscribe, the link, uh, that'd be great. If you want to hit the like button, that'd be awesome. Everything would be, you know, great. Long as you uh, find a way to fellowship with me, that'd be uh, outstanding. So I'm going to give it about another 30 seconds, and I'm just going to get into it because I don't want to be here too much longer. I did say I was going to go to bed. I was supposed to go to bed, but uh, I got everything done as, uh, like I wanted to. My wife had to step out for a second, so I had the baby with me. I didn't want to go live. I wanted to give him all of my attention, and once that was done, I decided to um, go live. I'm gonna. I'm a probably gonna be here for maybe about thirty, maybe thirty-five, maybe forty-five minutes at the most. What's up, Metal Face? How you doing, bro? It is good to see you. Uh, um, let's talk about Matthew Stafford real quick. We're just going to get into it. Matthew Stafford has been traded from the Lions to the uh, Los Angeles Rams for Jared Goff, two first-round picks. You also had um, a third round pick in that as well. I'm going to be honest with you guys. I think that you might, you guys may think I'm crazy, but I think that the Rams got the better end of the deal. And I will explain. I know a lot of people want to say, well, the Rams don't have any first round picks now because they, they lost them on uh, Jalen Ramsey. And they also now they lost two more first round picks on uh, Matthew Stafford. The Rams are in the mode where they're trying to win now. And I think in some cases, you could say they're in a, 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 a quarterback away. They have a good running game. They got a pretty good defense. Uh, offensive line is on point. Running game is good. Just the quarterback was not there. Even they got some nice-looking receivers as well. So they're probably in the win-now mode. And, yeah, it may backfire on them. Injuries. They may just not make it. Could set them back for a few years. And that's going to be tough. But at the end of the day, I kind of like the aggressiveness saying, hey, look, this division of ours is, is to be had. The Seahawks not doing that good. Kyler Murray is still coming up, but he's not ready. And the 49ers are somewhat in shambles. The Rams have a really good chance to actually take this. Uh, they had a chance to take this uh, division by storm. They can take it. I think Matthew Stafford gives them a, a good, at least good four more years. So if they keep everybody intact, they might be all right. Um, as far the, as far as the Lions, you get Jared Goff. Okay, what are you gonna do with those first round picks? Now I will say this: What if the Rams win the division, go fairly deep in the playoffs? Now those first round picks could end up being like 24, 25, maybe pick number twenty six. Yeah, you can get value there. But I highly doubt that they're going to get like something like what the Texans did with the Dolphins, where they end up being the third overall pick because uh, basically the Dolphins finesse the Texans. So I don't think that's going to happen. So therefore, you may have a situation where um, 
the Rams may have the better deal for the next four or five years, and the Lions could be jogging in place at the same time. So I don't know. I mean, th- that's the way I, I was thinking about this today, and that's what I think. Of, that's what I was thinking. I was like, it could be a situation where they're stuck in, you know, they're just on a treadmill, and they can't get anything done. So I, I'm not really sure, but that's my initial thoughts on that. Now I will say, um, I want to give a shout out to everybody that is um, they support it on the Patreon. We do have a Patreon. The link is down in the description. For the first and frame rates podcast, um, shout out to everybody who has um, supported the Patreon. Is uh, you guys are amazing. Matter of fact, the Patreon link is not in the description. I'm surprised the Patreon link is not in the description. I'm about to fix that. Let me fix that right now. Hold on. Let me fix that. Let me fix that. Okay. I do want to apologize for that, but I do, like I said, I do appreciate everybody who's been supporting the Patreon. Let me fix that right now. Oh, you! I see you. All right, there we go. Save that. All right, if you guys refresh the page, it should be there. So it should be there if you guys refresh the page. I'm gonna look at it again to make sure. Yeah, the Patreon link is there, and you can click on that, and you can see what we what we're doing over there on Patreon. I do need to update the Patreon; it's a little outdated. So that's something I'm going to be planning on doing within the next uh, by the end of the week. There's some things I want to do there, and um, that it just goes back to what I said. What I wanted to do with the with just everything. I've been on Twitch. I've been doing a lot on Twitch, and I have not been able to um, get everything acclimated. You know, I work. Um, you know, I'm a husband. I'm a father. It's, it's just so much I have to do. It, it, it's not really ideal for me to just get, do everything when it comes to the channel. It's just not much time in the day. Um, but, yeah, once again, the, like the, I think at the end of the day, going back to Matthew Stafford real quick, um, the Rams are probably, you know, contenders the the easily one of the top, you know, three. I can say they're probably the top three, maybe the top five team in the NFC. But I mean that's kind of easy because it's 16 teams. So I would say probably top three. They can they can go pretty far with in in the playoffs with this team that they have. You know. So I, I'm really um interested to see how that plays out and we'll see a lot of things can happen the draft more trades more teams may get better whatever the case may be so it's going to be interesting to see how that plays out um all right let's talk about this new crt setup now i have one of these really big old school tvs and i like to hook up my old school um i like to hook up my old school uh consoles too and sometimes I like playing them on my flat screen or I like playing them on my monitor. And they're cool because I use this thing called the OSSC, which I'll talk about that. I think I talked about that before, but I'll talk about it one day in depth in one of these uh, videos, one of these streams. And I hook it up and it, it basically helps the old school consoles look really good on a flat screen. But I like the old school type of look. So I did a video a while back on two of my... Um, CRT setups, which um, you can find that on the channel. Just go look that up. What's up, Antonio? How you doing? So what I did, but the thing is, those TVs are really big, and they're really hefty. They're hard to get them downstairs. So I may have to get some. Um, I may have to get some people to move it, cause me and my brother-in-law moved it the first time, and um, it, and that that ain't happening again. I'll just say that I'm not doing it again. The um the 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 TV is probably about two hundred. It's probably about one hundred seventy five to two hundred pounds, and I could get a dolly to move it, but it's still kind of narrow, so I have to get it down a flight of stairs as well. So I'm gonna call some movers and I'm gonna get it down there. And what I'm gonna do once I get it down here, I'm gonna move this this white this white uh. Um, bookshelf right here because I plan on trying to buy another bookshelf I'm gonna, probably going to move that over there where you see the Super Bowl champ thing is I'm probably going to put that, that white bookshelf over there 
and I'm gonna move all of those, the football is life and the Super Bowl. Chain, I'm gonna move that on that wall. Or I may put it over here on this wall over here where my other consoles are that's on the wall. And I'm going to put my CRT right there because I do kind of want to play my light gun games. And I want to stream myself playing the light gun games. I think that would be really cool if I can get my camera set up and all this other stuff set up to where I can actually stream me playing light gun games, playing some games in, on the old school, um, on the old school TV just have that retro old school look like what I used to have when I was growing up. It's something that I, I've been wanting to have for a while. And I had it at one point when I was upstairs, but once COVID hit, you know, I changed it around. I moved the chair. I mean, moved the chair. I moved everything down here except for the old school televisions. I have two of them actually, but the one I want is the really big one. Cause I have a smaller one that I can move just with the use of a dolly. It's nothing for me to move it. So, um, I'm an old school gamer at heart. I do love the new stuff. Um, shout out to Hades. Hades is a really good game I've been playing on Twitch. I hope you guys go over there and find me on Twitch. The link is down in the description. Also, that is my Twitch handle right there. You can catch that VF Baller if you haven't already. I think most of the guys that are here, the few that are watching, you know, you guys already um, are subscribed for the most part. I mean, not subscribe. You follow me for the most part. On Twitch, that's where I'm be doing most of my gameplay over there. And um, but over here, I I do have more plans what I want to do for this channel because I also have the podcast over there. I upload the podcast over here after the fact, so I may be doing a little bit more over here. Um, but we'll see. We'll see how that plays out. Um, just that's all that's all that is in the works. So I'm moving right along. I'm already 12 minutes in. If you guys have any questions, real quick, let me know. Because um, questions are always good. You can tell me what your thoughts about Matthew Stafford. You can tell me your thoughts about gaming. Anything that you guys want to talk about, you can add that along with that. Just something quick. It doesn't matter. You know, I always love the feedback. I mean, you guys are great. I mean, I, I'm, I'm going to get into that talking about um, the Twitch community. Twitch community has done a very good job of supporting me. I cannot thank you guys enough. And this is some really good. This is delicious. I swear. Oh my God. This stuff is. The body armor is delicious. I love it. I, I highly recommend it. I don't get paid by them. Whatever. Well, technically I do. I work for Coca-Cola. But that's another story. Um, I highly recommend drinking the coconut body armor. It is delicious. It's really good. All right. Let's talk about the Twitch community. I've been on Twitch for a good while now. Probably I've been I've been on Twitch for for some years actually. I've been on Twitch for ever since my like 2015 or something like that. Let me look that up. I uh, find out. Yeah, I've been on Twitch for since about 2015. I'm guessing. And ever since I've been on Twitch, it's just been it's been phenomenal. There's been a lot of people that have been there supporting the channels. A lot of people coming through to follow. A lot of people have been doing a lot of things to help my channel grow. And I can't not help thank them enough. And I don't want to be that guy. I don't want to be that guy to say this. But I honestly feel that the Twitch channel setup, the, the website, the community, the people that are there is... 20 times, it, 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 I ain't gonna say 20, it, it's better than YouTube and it's not even close. I love being over there. I always have a good time with the people over there. People are so supportive. They want to see your channel grow. Um, and the people that want to be there to enjoy themselves, they're there to enjoy themselves. And, and I hate to say it like that because I do love the YouTube community. I love YouTube for what it does, but you find a lot of you find a lot of negativity over here, and it really sucks. And people that are in the comment section sometimes, they always... And it's not you guys at all. It's not the people who listen to me or watch this. Because I always get good feedback on all the stuff we put out. Especially in the in, in the chat when we are live over here. But for the most part, it just feels like... People just come through just to try to be that guy. Instead of just 
coming through to, to enjoy themselves. Like when you're on Twitch, people go through the time to find your channel. They go through the ads. They follow you. Some people sub to the channel, which, you know, in, in cases they're actually, you know, paying their own money, you know, to sub to you. And they want to make that experience as, as smooth and nice as possible. And I enjoy that. YouTube is mostly, you know, YouTube is free. Just create an email account. And you can come over over here and you're good. You're good money. And sometimes it just calls for people to just come through and just, you know, they do their own thing and they try to tell you down and you got other YouTubers that try to do that as well. You know, it's, it's a dog eat dog world over here. You know, they, you know, people will step on you over here on YouTube. And, and that's fine. I get it because that's the art of competition. I don't have a problem with it. But I know, like, as far as Twitch goes, Twitch is a place where I like to go game. And it's set up for gamers. Even though they have other stuff on there now, it's set up for gamers. And the fact that it's set up for gamers, it gives us a, um, an avenue. I don't want to see this. Go away. Go away, go away, go away. And it gives us an avenue to actually fellowship with other gamers who not only want to game, but they want to game with other gamers. And the people who watch either don't have the time to game, so they watch what the guys do on Twitch. They want to support be, They want to support you because they don't have the time to game. And them watching you game is their way of gaming. You know, and it's, 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 it's so refreshing to see that. You know, um... And I was just watching, like, one Twitch streamer. He's fairly popular. And people were just donating, donating, donating. And it's not like just donating money. It's just like, you know, they're donating their, their you know, their uh, time where they, you know, um, just give out follows. You know, I mean, they're just, people just constantly following them. And people are sharing, you know, they're gifting out subs to each other. And, I'm, and that's what I mean, like, not necessarily donating to the, the, the streamer. You know, they're gifting, and I know that helps the streamer as well, but they are gifting subs to other people in the, the community that is watching said uh, streamer. And it's a beautiful thing because it's like a real community over there. And at the end of the day, I want to build that type of, that's the type of community I would want for the sports gaming community where you can go to a channel and just legitimately just relax, have fun, talk about the games. You can even be critical of the games and, and have your opinions about them. But at the end of the day, that's not what it's all about. You know, because some people just build their whole, they build their whole, their, their, their whole uh, foundation on being that guy. Or they build a whole uh, situation of making videos or making live streams about being being the antagonist and that's fine because everybody has a lane but for me i grew up in this i grew up in this gaming world i mean you see behind me i have games from the n64 to saturn the dreamcast down there at the bottom of the the white bookshelf i have the the super nintendo the nintendo the genesis the regular nintendo you see the game genie behind me i mean i don't use it but i thought it's pretty cool to get um but I enjoy gaming, and I want people who enjoy it to come along with me. What's going on, Sweet Jones? I, I didn't forget you. I saw you over there in the comment section. Appreciate you. If you guys don't mind, man, um, I know you guys already hit the like button. If you haven't already, it'd be great if you do so. Uh, also, um, you can share this video. Let people know what I'm doing over here because I want to do more of these on the YouTube side to give people more of an insight of what I do over on Twitch. And uh, hopefully I can get more people to come over to Twitch because uh, I just I just like the setup over there. I like the it, it just feels like a, a different environment over there. <laughs> you post you posted on Twitter. I, I'm going to check that out. But it's just that I, I have nothing against YouTube. I think I think YouTube is a great platform, but YouTube YouTube doesn't have the mechanism for people like me. People that want to game. I mean, it's the first one people think about. It's the first one that people think about when they think about putting content up. And a lot of people like to make created content. Me, myself, I like to be live. I like to be 
starting out and just just go and just talk to the people straight up. <laughs> Man, you stupid. I saw that earlier, bro. Um, but like I said, it's the community. It, it, it's just something about over there. It just gives you the. It, it just gives you the the push, and it feels like it gives you the the environment and the vibe that just. It's like you're comfortable. I, I just can't explain. It. It's like you're comfortable over there just vibing and enjoying your time compared to YouTube. YouTube is a place for all types of content. And Twitch is starting to do that. But what I do like about Twitch, Twitch still has that aura where it's still set up for gamers. It's still set up for, like, the people who come over there People who come over there for um people who come over there for uh other than gaming on Twitch, they still have to they still have to function within the realm of you being a gamer, but you're just creating content. You still have to do the same you still have to follow the same rules. The thing about YouTube is this platform is made for people to make just regular content. And the people that decide to come here to game have to confine themselves or they have to conform themselves to stuff that is non-gamer related. At least with Twitch, Twitch is gaming related. And the people who come over there to be on Twitch and want to do other stuff, they still have to they still have to navigate through the same um they still have to sign up. To, I mean, I'm sorry. They still have to navigate the same way as a gamer would. You know what I mean? And I think that's a beautiful thing because they're they're not changing themselves for the masses. They're just basically they're they're, they're basically giving them the same platform, but they still have to continue to create content as if you was a gaming platform because at one point that's all twitch did twitch was just strictly gaming you couldn't put any else any other stuff up there um what i think once amazon bought them out they were able to they branched out once amazon bought them out state of franchise sports said he just signed up for twitch hey man let me know your twitch channel i'll put it up here so anybody who comes back to watch they'll know how to get to you um i'll put it up as a um i'll put it up on the screen so let us know where to find you. Give us your Twitch name, and I'll put it up so people can find you, and hopefully they'll give you a follow over there. Sweet Jones says, I got a question. How can I save my streams longer than 14 days? I love Twitch for real. It's so chill, but I still roll with YouTube, folks, but I use Twitch for gaming. Yeah, absolutely. And there's nothing wrong with that. All right, the way you get your Twitch, your, um, the way to get your videos up longer than 14 days, I think you have to become a... Uh, let me see. Let me look at it. I can't remember the name of it, but I'm going to let you know right now. Uh, Let me see. Let me see. I could be wrong, but I think this is what it is. You have to become... I think you have to build a community. I'm not really sure. I think you have to, you have to get some of those... Um, I think you have to get, just start getting some of those uh, achievements. I'm not sure if it's Twitch Prime. I could be wrong. Let me see. I'm going to look it up. Let's see how to have longer videos. Cause I, I remember they were telling me. Okay, what happens? You have to, yeah, you have to, um, you have, first you can, uh, you can toggle the slider, go into your, um, your preferences under your stream key and toggle the slider to enable or disable archiving. But it'll still be 14 days. You have to become a Twitch partner. 
Prime or Twitch Turbo. See, I'm a Twitch affiliate, but mine stays up longer. Maybe because it's, it's uh, you could become Prime. I think you put it right there. Become a Prime member, and you should be able to keep them up for sixty days. Yeah. Let me see if I can show. Yeah, yeah. Just become a Prime member for right now because I'm not a Twitch partner. I'm a, I'm just an affiliate right now. Uh, so that there yeah, that that'll work. Just become a Prime member. You good? State of Franchise Sports says his um Twitch channel is the same as his YouTube ch channel, State of Franchise Sports. So y'all go over there and give that man a follow, man. If y'all haven't already. The man makes good, he, he makes good content over here on YouTube already. I'll be watching this stuff, but if he decides to come over here on Twitch, uh, if he decides to go over there to Twitch, you guys need to go over there and follow that guy. Let me see if I can find him. Because I'm going to be one of your first followers right now. Of the franchise, okay. All right, there you go right there. Look at that. I'm your first follow. You see that? <laughs> I didn't know that. I thought somebody would beat me to it. But now I'm, I'm your first follow. That's pretty dope. All right, so I'm, I'm State of the Franchise Sports first follow. I hope everybody follows suit. Go over there and uh, follow him, man. If he decides to put some content up there, it'll be great. There you go. He said, stay there. He said, yeah, the stream says we're just going to the settings. Exactly. All right. So I got that taken care of. That's what's up. But like I said, man, it is a, it's, it's a beautiful thing, man. I love it over, over there on Twitch. And it is, it's no shade. It's no shade to the YouTube community. I think YouTube is great. I honestly, I think it is, but I think for me, and I, I can't speak for anybody else. Sweet Jones is on Twitch. I follow him over there as well. Um, I just think at the end of the day, we, um, I ain't gonna say we, I just think at the end of the day for me is just, uh, I don't know, man. It's, it's just, I don't know. It's, it's, it just feel like it's a better place for me. Wait a minute. Oh, there it is right now. I'm about to say, I thought I knew I was following you, sweet Jones. I'm about to say, I knew I wasn't tripping, but yeah. Yeah, man, no problem, man. I'm trying to... Hey, see, this is one thing I like about the Twitch community. You know, they did this to me. When I came over to Twitch, man, people came out the woodwork following. You know, I had a couple people um, sub to the channel. I had some people to um, do all kind of things. Quayface just subbed. Look at that. He just subbed to, to uh, State of Franchise Sports. There, there you go. And see, this is what I'm talking about. Like I said, man, it, it's so refreshing just to have, you know, people over there that actually, you know, that want to see you, you know, put up good content. You know, that, that's what I like about it. Over here on YouTube, you know, YouTube is good, but it, you don't see that kind of support. State of Friends, I'll actually have content tomorrow as I'm off the next two nights. All right, so he's going to have content up. It's probably going to coincide with us doing the podcast, but that's cool. You guys still need to go check him out. If you can watch both, that'd be great. You know, go over there and lurk on his channel and give him the numbers. and uh, Or vice versa. Give us the numbers and lurk on our channel and go see what he got going on. Hell, he might be a little more entertaining than us anyway. <laughs> nah, man. But yeah, man. I Definitely, I'll tell you what I'll be doing. While you're streaming, I'll have my iPad up. And I'll be lurking, watching your, your content while I do the podcast. I definitely would do that. I want to see you get your numbers up. I want to see you do something over there. Same thing with you with Sweet Jones. You know, when every time you're you're live, you know, I, I go over there and check you out as well. You know, it's a grind. I'll tell you that much. But if you get if you get around the right people, you get around the right people, man, they're going to look out for you. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Nev said he got, I had content until I got impeached. So you're not on Twitch anymore. So what happened? That's crazy. Sweet Jones just added the, he just got on the State of Franchise Sports uh, bandwagon. There you go. That's what's up. Got you some followers over there. So we moving. We moving. 
We are moving. Go check that man uh, content out. It's always a good time to go check out his um, content. DJ, he's a he's a uh, he does it all the time. DJ tell you, he said that's what he do. He lurk while playing scum, while he playing other games. He have somebody stream in the background. It's a great way to support. Trust me. The analytics will show, and the analytics will um will grant you a lot of goodies by um through achievements. All we gotta do is just uh continue to support each other over there. Like I said, it's to me it's almost like night and day. I've been doing this since twenty Oh Jesus. 2012, 2013. I've been I've been on YouTube for oh yeah, I've been on YouTube for probably about eight years now. Yeah, I, I got game stopping my man cave. <laughs> and I'm trying to get it, man. I got some more stuff I gotta get break from downstairs, believe it or not. But um I mean, like I said, it's like I've been on I've been on YouTube since 2013, probably. I think it's 2013. I had an old channel called VF um, Virtual Footballer Channel. That's where the VF Baller came from. It actually was Virtual Footballer, and that channel. And I love the channel. Don't get me wrong, the channel was great, but it just had so much negativity behind that channel. And the people that supported that channel was a lot of it was a lot of negative behind it. It got to the point where, you know, I had to do something different. I mean, even my, you know, even my wife was like, man, you need to do something different because you got a lot of negativity around you. So I, I, I flipped the channel. What you doing, sir? You here? Come on, you want to say hello to everybody? Come on. You want to say hello to everybody? No? Well, go get your ball then. Yeah. Okay, so he wants to play. He doesn't. He doesn't want. He want to be antisocial tonight. Um, but you see him throwing the ball around. But um, I, I redid the channel. I did another channel, which was actually this was called the Silent Gamer Channel, and then I changed the first and frame rates, and I just I just kept it from there. And it's 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 been great. I don't have all the subs I used to have. I was up to almost three thousand subs when I had the old channel, but. To me, it doesn't matter as far as the numbers. My thing is, if I can have ten people in in a, uh, if I can have ten people around that want to watch my stuff on a consistent basis and they give me a good vibe, I'd rather deal with that than a hundred people coming to my videos and saying crazy stuff or uh, or coming to my live streams being negative. I'll have the ten people ten out of ten times, and I'm not joking. So. You know, yeah, see, Antonio Wilson, he remembers the channel. I used to have it. Daniel DJ remembers it. Sweet Jones probably remembers it as well. You know, I, I mean, I, I was rolling on that channel, but to me, even with those numbers, I just didn't feel comfortable. I didn't feel comfortable doing that channel the way it was built. It was built off negativity, so I had to change that. And uh, hopefully with this channel here on YouTube, because I plan on doing more stuff over here on YouTube, that stuff is in the works. And um, definitely with Twitch, that's where all the live streams are going to be, though. Well, outside of this one, but, you know, I didn't want to leave you guys hanging with just doing nothing over here that was live. Um, that was live, so. Columbia Sports says you're new to the channel. Yeah, you're, you're, you're fairly new, but, you know, you're becoming a vet real quick, so that's what's up. And I do appreciate your support, not only just here on YouTube, but on Twitch as well. So, what are you trying to do, son? Hold on. Let me get that for you. I know what you're trying to do. There you go. Well, my son is a mess. Can you get it? I'll put it down. There you go. How about that? That's better? All right. My son is playing with the couch over here. He's He's having a ball. What are you doing? Your ball is right there, sir. See it? Okay. Yeah, you know, it's like, but like I said, it's it's it's, it's all love, like, over there. It's like, it's crazy. You know what I mean? We need the podcast videos from the old channel. They was class. <laughs> yeah, I, I think I got them on a hard drive on my other computer. I may need to pull those up. I think I still got them. Yeah, those. See, what Quayface is talking about, back back on the old channel, I had a podcast I used to do every Sunday. It was called the, um, 
it was called the Sunday Conversation or something like that. It was called the Sunday Conversation. And I used to have like a panel of like five people with me. And we would literally just talk about everything throughout that happened throughout the week. And it was times like back then, you know, the the the, the sim community was actually, you know, um, the sim community was actually at, at each other's throat. But it was fun, though. I need to pull some of them. If I can find them, if it's still on my old hard drive, I'll pull them. And I'll put them on this channel. Just just put some snippets up or something. Because those are great. Some of them were absolutely great. Yep, the Sunday... I think it was that called the Sunday Roundtable, Sunday Discussion. Or Sunday. It was it was one of those. But I used to have like five or six people on the, uh, in the, uh, what was it? It was the, um, on Skype. Yeah, that's when we was on Skype back then. Man, that's, that's been a long time. That's crazy. But, yeah, I said I was going to be here for about between 35 and 45 minutes. I don't have anything else. I will be back tomorrow doing the podcast. We're going to be over there on Twitch. If you're new to this channel and you don't know anything about that, my Twitch channel is VF Baller. You can go over there, follow me over there, and um, on bet between 7:45, 8 o'clock, we will have the stream up and running. Episode 208 of the podcast. I really enjoy all of you guys. Thank you guys a lot. Also, um, you guys have just been amazing. Y'all started 2021 off on the right foot as far as my content goes you guys have been amazing i cannot thank you guys enough i, I just can't i really can't um also um if you want to i do have merch um here's one of the things i sell on the channel i mean yeah on the channel you can say that this is my first of frame rates mug sports gaming and life um the link is down in the description where you can go check out the Teespring link where uh, we have the frame rate gear. Um, why not? I should just go ahead and put this up on the screen real quick so you guys can see that. All right, that's the Teespring link right there. I have hoodies, t-shirts, coffee mugs. You could get this hoodie in different colors. You could get this hoodie in different colors. I also have the face mask, long sleeve t-shirts, regular t-shirts. Um, the Samsung case, and they're up to date. You can get the iPhone case, those are up to date, and a net gator. Um, I still need to get DJ that net gator. I don't know why I keep putting that off. I do apologize. Um, this is my Let's Complain and More, um, Let's Complain and More Gaming hoodie. Get out of here, you pop up. And you can get those in a couple of other, um, colors. I like this gray color right here. That's, that is great. That looks really good. Um, but, uh, yeah. Also, have uh, the other stuff. I have the Save 69 sweater, which I wanted to get another one to say Save 65. And um, there's the other long sleeve, the T-shirt right there. And you can get that in black or white. See that? So, yeah. I mean... It's always an option. It's nothing set in stone. There's the other coffee mug of the First and Frey Race podcast, another net gator, another uh, cloth for the First and Frey Race mask. And you can get this in different colors as well. You can get a gray one, get one for your girl, get the pink one, green, blue, red, and dark blue. A dark blue one look nice. Yeah, I don't want to see any apps. Don't need to see that. And nothing there. All right, but yeah, I have all of, all this merch right here, and um, just you can go check it out if you like. It's not as totally optional, so I have that as well. All right, y'all. Any other questions y'all have before I go? I'm gonna be about another five minutes. If you have a question, y'all want to talk about something real, real quick, we can do that. Other than that, we'll save it for the podcast. Absolutely, we sure will. And um, shout out to everybody. Like I said again, man. People who always give me shout outs and, and look out for me, Engraving Vids, shout out to you. Preacher Valor over there on Twitch, shout out to you. DJ, he is my co host. Thank you for coming through and to support and always being there on the episodes of the podcast. Shout out to Bills, wherever he is. I know he's busy. Um, Complimentary Sports, Quayface, Antonio Wilson, Neff, Sweet Jones, uh, Metal Face, State of Franchise. Man, you guys, uh, I, I can't say it enough. Honestly, man, you guys have been really, really loyal to what I do over here. 
And I really appreciate it. I cannot tell you guys enough. You guys are really, really awesome. And um, I think that's going to be it. Now I don't have any questions. Yeah, yeah, nay, no. All right. I'll see you guys on, um, see you guys tomorrow. And you guys be safe. You guys stay out of trouble. And I, I, like I said, I can't thank y'all enough. I thank y'all again. You guys are really, really awesome. And um, I'll see you when I come back to stream. All right, y'all. Y'all sure y'all don't have anything else? I don't want to cut nobody off. No? All right, cool. All right, guys. Peace. See, I knew that. I knew that. See, I, I, that's, I waited to the last second. I knew that. I was just about to hit end broadcast. Did I hear about next gen console short till ne till, uh, till summer? Yes, I did. We're going to talk about that tomorrow. But um, you know I I said I wanted to talk about something real quick. But um, me personally, I knew that was going to happen. DJ kind of called it, but it's actually going to be till the fall. We're going to talk about that tomorrow. So um, we'll see you guys then. Antonio, you are awesome, and you really are. <laughs> All right, y'all. Good night. Peace. See y'all tomorrow. <laughs> Talk about the maps too. Okay, I'll do that. We'll do that. Definitely. Peace.